everyone and welcome back to another Green Man Travels adventure and we're back on another mod map called Lemira Farm. Now this is one of the maps that was released while I was away on holiday so again playing a little bit of catch up. It was released on the 3rd of the 4th 2024. It is cross platform compatible so PC, Mac, Playstation 5, Playstation 4, Xbox One and the Xbox series of consoles. Don't really know why I put the Playstation 5 above the Playstation 4 there but there we go. It's on the version 1.0.0.0. It's 326.51 megabytes to download. And it's been made by quite a few map makers by the looks of it. Um, Andrad ML Modding, Wesley Franco, and Renegados Modding. So uh, as you can probably tell from uh, me flying around, this is a Brazilian style map. There's quite a lot of information on Mod Hub, but I'm probably just going to skip through some of it and just pick out some of the main bits anyway. So the map has um, quite a few bits and bobs. It's actually based in a region from Sao Paulo. You start as a new farmer, you start with a few animals and vehicles, which we'll run through in a few minutes. There is three new crops. There's rice, caracoca beans and alfalfa. There's lots of different places to sell your grains. Obviously the uh, fields are very interesting shapes as well. There's no winter time on the map apparently. But um, yeah, but there's quite a few um, mods needed. So we'll run through those now. So there's the uh, ESC large shed by DH Modding. Farm entrance by Namog Mod. The bunker silo shed set by Razak. Farmhouse by Namog Modding. South Brazilian Warehouse by ML Modding and DH Modding. Forestry, Cell Point by Gamers Design. Brazilian Fences Pack by Zero Oita. Pig Feed Buying Station by Grand Geo and Vergamini Modding Lost Gamer. Lizard Circular Pivot Irrigation by Hispano Modding. Confining Cows by Grand Gero, Vergamini Modding and Lost Gamer. Small Farm Pack by Holtz FS. Southern Brazilian Sheds by GNFS and BR Metal Sheds by GNFS as well. So let's get our feet firmly back down on the ground and have a quick look at our starting fields and our starting equipment. As you can see, we start with quite a lot of equipment. Um, a John Deere small tractor, uh, John Deere 6250 medium, a T560 harvester, a John Deere gator, uh, I think that's a HP Brandt, a power trailer, an auger wagon, a header, uh, Agrosem, a uh, subsoiler, John Deere planter, big one as well that one actually. Um, this is the Lizard Circular Pivot Irrigation mod, so that's also needed. Fertilizer spreader, manure wagon, slurry tanker, animals, so what we've got, um, we've got a bale shredder, a mixer and a tanker, so that's pretty good. Then we've got a John Deere front loader as well. So don't have any lease items, but we do have obviously mods and DLCs for the Circular Pivot table that's set up in the round field so pretty good pretty good so our starting farm is here this is like our starting house up on stilts got a nice dog and uh, we've got a horse pasture just to the back of us that's very nice sleep trigger i think is probably it is indeed it looks like it might be inside actually so that's pretty good i'll open wardrobe and sleep trigger so that's quite a nice feature i do like i like it when modders make houses or use houses that you can go into especially for people who want to do kind of like survival or role play. So that's pretty good. Got a big shed here. So I hope it's got quite a lot of our equipment in, I think. Yes, indeed. We've got a silo here. And we've got a place here to get your other bits of equipment in and out of. Nice few decorative items around as well. Big farmyard around the back. So header trailer there. I think that's the other place to get the silo. It is indeed. Silo bins are out there as well. And the unload trigger is that there, I think. Yeah, looks like it. It's pretty good. Uh, solid pits over here as well. Yep, looks like these are solid pits. Yep, there we go. And we've got our entrance. We've got some more animals here. We've got another big barn over in the corner. We actually start with quite a few cows, I must admit. Quite surprising. And over here, let's have a quick look over here. What have we got? Wow, big shed of equipment. So all animal stuff, our tractors, our combine. So yeah, quite a lot of inf uh, bits and bobs. Fuel tank here as well. Yeah, very good size setup this, I must admit. So have a quick look at the PDM, what we own. Wow, that's surprising. I did not expect that. Okay, so if you want to 
where to sell that? Wow, it's a million pounds. Crikey. Okay, um, so as part of that, we start with our farm around here. We're up top here. There's a field there. There's also um, cow barns and horse pastures and bits and bobs. We'll run through those in a second. We start with fields 16, 15, 14. Plus silo recovered hopper and a medium petrol tank again, which is away from our field or our main farm, sorry. So yeah, that's very impressive the amount of land we start with. Crikey. So, um, crop calendar wise, as it said in the description, we this has been massively altered, obviously, for a Brazilian or South South American type of uh, climate. We've got alfalfa, caracuina beans, which I think are actually uh, a diff called different in the description, and rice. So they're all there as well, so pretty good. Uh, selling wise, pretty much everything sells in at least one or two places. Nothing from base game is missing, so that's good. Animals wise we've got three cow barns and a horse pasture. So we start with quite a few cows as well. We've got uh, 40 in that one, 40 in that one, 20 in that one, and we've got two horses. So let's have a quick look where they are. So let's try here first. One cow barn here. And here's a trigger. So it can take 500. Wow, that's impressive. This cow barn, take a guess, another 500. We've got 40 in it again. This cow barn large. Let's see if we can find the trigger for this one. Is that there, do we think? Probably. Uh, 20, and that can take 200. So, again, a very good size. Finally, the horse pasture, which is just near our house. So, trigger there. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, no, where's the trigger to buy the horses then? Let's have a look. Have a run around quick. There's one of the horses. Hello, how are you? Can't find the trigger though. Okay, maybe I've just completely missed that. But they are roaming round in a bit of shrub or shrubland by the looks of it. So, wow, there it is. Just spotted it right over here. So, 16 head. Wow, okay, that's surprising. So, contracts wise, yeah, not too bad. Um, the fields aren't massive. So the rewards wouldn't be amazing, but they're not too bad at all. We don't start with any production chains, but uh, plenty of space to put some down. So PDA wise, so again, I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. Um, yeah, quite a lot of um, shrubland and scrubland on the map, um, I must admit, that you've got. So you can probably create some more bigger fields, extend and put your own fields on. So that's pretty good. So as you can see, you've got a circular field at the top left, a uh, township, in the top right and then a bit of a uh, industrial place down in the bottom right i'd say the thing that's probably to our right from the farm in the middle is a quarry but let's have a quick look at our starting uh, productions and our map selling places i suppose would be a good medium petrol tank and a solo recovered hopper which is actually a farm we own down here in the industrial area we've got liquid manure lamira mill forestry cell point Manure place as well. Here we have a lime station and a debris crusher. So yeah, kind of a bit of a quarry. A warehouse two is a selling place. Pig feed buying station. So if you want to do pigs, warehouse one. Uh, bell selling station. Textile mill. Vehicle shop. Um, gas station. A fair, which is part of us. I'm going to take that to supermarket probably. Animal dealer. I think that's pretty much it because everything else is in our farm so not bad at all let's get ourselves oh we've got our pivot there as well so we can actually use that to uh, do this field which is pretty good um, what vehicles have we got let's take the truck for a spin let's have a quick look around the map and see what we can find oh, need to reverse a bit more probably not into my house which I just did oh well Right, so, uh, thinking this way, at a guess. There's gates here, so let's open those. Right, let's go, go, go. And I've got no winky box to put on this time, so we'll probably crash. Wow, okay. Um, first thing I usually talk about is obviously undulations and contouring. Uh, yeah, a 
Okay, I've gone to the big river. Okay, good, good, good start to the map tour there. Don't go that way, everybody, because that way takes you to a big lake, even though it does say there's a road through there. Yeah, okay. Uh, where do we need to go then? Thinking straight out the farm and up there. This could be fun. This could be a very fun map tool by the time we've worked this out. So let's go this way then. Can't really see a massive difference in the field. So if we keep bearing left, I'm thinking we'll probably end up getting some kind of main road. But yeah, like I said, the uh, map is not at all uh, flat. It's got lots of contouring, lots of uh, dirt roads by the looks of it. So I think let's go left this way as you can see the fields are not massive they are unusual shapes and sizes though quite elongated like kidney shapes and stuff like that so must admit you probably get lost trying to find your way out of anywhere right track here hopefully big area there that you can fall down ah there's the main road to my right but i need to find a way to get there without crashing way up son that was not the best right we're going to our circular field oh wait i think i see a connection to a main road here. Let's hope. Oh, uh, no, up there. Okay, a bit early there. It looks like a uh, water irrigation station to take it out of that uh, lock or dam. So that's pretty good. So quite a nice um, bit of um, custom decorations with uh, different buildings and different texturing going on with some areas. So that's pretty nice. Um, gotta admit though, it does seem like a bit of a faff to get to the main road um, for your farm, but there we go. Right, let's go down the main road then this way. As you can see now, big valley here, lots of hills, nice wide road. The tracks are pretty wide as well, so you get some good big size equipment on this map, I must admit. So let's just go into this area here, petrol station to our left, bit of a speed bump, track design like that, that's pretty cool. What else have we got? Uh, quite a lot of decorative items, I must admit. Oh, automatic gate there. Okay, so it's not too bad. My driving on this map hasn't got any better. Let's fly up here a minute, up to the top, and then we'll probably pull over and have a quick look. Yes, we will. We will pull over up here. See if we can actually go a bit off-roading and see a bit more of the outlook of the map. So, big fields up here as well. Probably not the easiest to get to so we're right on the boundary of the map actually I must admit so I say we stop here and look at our beautiful view of the landscape and have a quick look at our field prices so what do we have so we know this is worth 1.8 million so quite a lot of area there to actually expand into uh, 142,000 78,000 173 225 so not bad this map one here 775,000 that's quite a lot some of the smaller fields here 31 122 big areas of scrubland 839,000 670 this area of loads of fields 327,000 and finally 296 wow okay well it's not a bad brazilian map i must admit it's not my personal favorite i'm not a big fan of brazilian maps myself but it's pretty nicely done um, it's got lots of contouring and lots of nice decorative items so probably a, a map worth trying so hopefully you have enjoyed this map tour if you have give it a like subscribe to the Greyman man channel and i hope to see you again soon many thanks for joining me